there's been a lot of debate at the moment in the term in the world of physics and metaphysics there's been this incredible interview with terence howard on the joe rogan show and everyone's talking about is is the fundamental unit of creation is it a particle or a wave call whereas terence is suggesting that um the the flower of life is the key to all the secrets of creation so um so Ter terence howard has looked at the negative space between four bubbles or four spheres and we get this kind of shape like a tetrahedron and he's saying that that shape there is the atomic structure of hydrogen and as you know hydrogen constitutes 99.9 percent .9 of the universe so this contradicts this whole theory of protons and electrons and black holes because he's saying everything has a male part and a female part so his work was based on the walter russell's cosmology of octaves and frequencies and light so a lot of people are saying asking me like is is he the next tesla well i believe that his his popularity has a, and his um deep understanding of the sacred geometry and the pentagons that nest um definitely constitutes him as one of the next progressive thinkers in the world because we want to have this debate about good technology versus bad technology um pollution versus natural systems so we have to copy we have to comprehend nature we need to and also copy it as well so um yeah so this does challenge the world of physics and one of the fundamental um diagrams that he built um one, one of one of terence howard's most fundamental discoveries is he took three pentagons and he put them together at a 120 degree angle and then he put another three next to it and he essentially got a shape a bit like um the dodecahedron that has 12 vertices well this linchpin he's saying is the new propulsion system that can be like a drone so if you if you turn that into a drone and put four of these constructs together you end up with this amazing new technology that can fly like a ufo can rotate on its axis it's a technology that's never been done and it's even submersible it's going to get rid of cranes so he's saying that the golden ratio the phi ratio the work that's been suppressed for hundreds of years is now coming into the forelight so that's why i welcome um his research because he's saying that 24 spheres or bubbles the negative space is this beautiful architecture of sacred geometry so these these contain energy and we can harness this energy in the in a in a, in a, in a new and progressive way and the, the beautiful thing about water um terence howard was that he believed that he'd already channeled as a child independently the work of walter russell um and this brings up the whole research is there straight lines or curved lines so terence is saying everything in the universe is curved and that there are no platonic solids but my personal view would be that i believe that there is an etheric straight line that connects the center of spheres so we can nest the five platonic solids we're looking at the five chinese elements of creation so it all fits in whether it's straight lines or curved lines particles or wave course but i believe that he is definitely in a positive sense um offering putting on the table a new propulsion system based on the flower of life and the sacred geometry. I'd like to give an acknowledgement also to the incredible three decades of work by Michael Evans. He was a pioneer of um, propulsion systems as well. Um, this diagram from Terence Howard was actually created first by Michael Evans. So it was all by viewing the flower of life as a three-dimensional construct, right? So my, um, so my personal interest in promoting and advocating the research on Terence Howard's work is that he, he says in his book that you can download off his website, tcotlc.com, where it all stands for truth, love, consciousness. He's talking about the one, that there is no zero. He's saying that we've got pi wrong. So not many other teachers like myself who are saying pi is going in the wrong direction or physics is going in the wrong direction but when he talks specifically that we can't use straight lines to measure the area under the curve he's saying that there's an error in thinking in logic well for the last 40 years i've spent my whole life writing 10 books about the true value of pi 
which is based on the harmonics of the golden ratio. So the square root of 1.618 is this thing called 1.272, the golden root. And it's what's inside the pyramid of Egypt. So I believe that this ancient knowledge of the true value of pi, when we apply it to the new technology, we're going we're gonna to be moving through space and not creating any pollution. So there's a new technology being created when the correctional code of 3.14460551102969344, that's pi, true pi to 18 decimals, when that comes into the scientists' hands, we're going to create new systems like time travel and amazing systems that propel us into a, a new era. So um, on that note, I just want to conclude that Terence's uh, so work is allowing us to have discussions where metaphysics connects with physics. We want to have this discussion about physics versus metaphysics, biology versus technology, and how they can work hand in hand rather than be opposing um, templates of consciousness. And then talk to us about your larger vision with Educare and oh, yes. your students. So, um, and yeah. also add in, um, you think that, did you mention you think that Terence would endorse your pie? Yeah. That's, so, yeah. so start there and okay, end with yeah. the Educare and your bigger vision. So, um, so if I'm hoping that if Terence is watching this, um, I would like to know his view upon what I call the true value of pi. I call it golden pi, just like we have golden circle, golden spiral, golden rectangle. Well, there's, this is the, the subject on golden pi 3.144. And it, because it's all based on the um, what we call the golden ratio, which is all about the DNA molecule, DNA is all based on the harmonics of 1.618. If this is true, we need to set up a new education system. This is my connection with Terence. Let's set up new educational models where the next generation truly understand what education is. It comes from the Latin word educare, which means to shine forth. It's about connecting with the child's inner glow, what their passion is, and get children to start turning numbers into art where we draw the pentacle within the pentacle. So when we do four iterations of the pentagram within the pentagram, we get what's called the golden, uh, we get the angle for the fine structure constant. It's called 137 degrees. That's what scientists are obsessed about. So if you talk to any nuclear physicist, they say that the ratio between electricity and magnetism is 137 times the difference between the forces, the nuclear forces. So they're obsessed about this number 137. Well, it's in that diagram of the nesting pentagram. Perhaps another um, controversial reason why Terence Howard's work is being debated all around the world right now, and it's great that it's so popular, even whether it's fully correct or not, we're having the conversation and he's saying radical things like there's no such things as um, the God force particle, the Higgs boson and gluons and dark matter. We've got a wrong concept of the creation of the nuclear quantum level. And he even says that black holes aren't really perfectly described because the current view of a black hole is that it's like this giant vacuum cleaner in the sky where everything's being sucked into a dense point but where does it go so how can something just forever be sucked in like if, if we're just if that's a black hole a torus like an apple is a black hole right it's going in and in but science just stops there that it just becomes this dense heavy matter but where does it go it has to go somewhere well on the other side you've got radiation the terence's view which fits in with the, the hyperdimensional geometry of the torus, is that you can't just have in, in, in. You've got to have the male, female, straight lines, curved lines, philosophy of the universe. Every, so this means that the creator must also be a male, female. It can't, you just can't have suction going in all the time. It's a limited view. So what, what started off science, as you know, was the Big Bang Theory. So this is the Big Bang that the sun, the supernova, big explosion, and where, and the earth and the sun are forever radiating out, out, out. But that's such a limited view of being a big bang because all it's saying is where's the loop? Where's the return to wholeness? Where's the Taurus? So the, what, what I love about Terence's work is that it's bringing us back to this concept of like Taurus within the Taurus, the nesting tori create the infinite macro and the micro. And the macro and the micro define what we call electricity and magnetism. And in that kind of conversation he has, he says, well, 
we got gravity all wrong. So that's why there's this huge um, discussion going on. Is there gravity? Is there black hole? Is there straight lines? What's happening is that we're starting to question what we've been told. And that's what I love about his work. And we acknowledge it on that level.